Ah, God. Um, <laughs> so this is a story about what not to do on a date. And uh, after this story, you'll probably think, this is a strange person. <laughs> and single, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, too. Uh, the background for the story is my childhood. I grew up on a little farm, and we had horses and some other animals. And so when you have horses, you have to shovel a lot of horse shit. And it's, they're huge animals, they eat a lot, uh, and so they're shitting all the time. And uh, you can ride them and groom them and have the vet come over and put shoes on, but most importantly, you have to shovel a lot of shit. So <laughs> as a result, I, I grew up, I was, I'm not sensitive to uh, the shit of a vegan animal. Um, it doesn't really bother me, it's funny, once in a while I'll, meet someone who grew up in a city and they're very squeamish if there's like a horse and carriage ride. They really make a big deal about seeing the feces of the animal in the street. It just doesn't bother me. Um, and I, f I consider it to be a component of my high self-esteem as well because of the fact that... <laughs> so that's my childhood. And then in the late 90s, there's an event that happens in my life. I see a TV show, a British nature show. They're in the savannah in Africa, and the host, a very funny guy, constantly making little jokes and stuff, and he, he, uh, he's tracking white rhino, and uh, the way you track white rhino, I guess, is to look for its footprints or look for big piles of rhino shit, and um, sure enough, they came across some. It was uh, like a cow pie, which also does not uh, freak me out, and he said, oh, look at that, and he bent down, jammed a finger into it, then brought it up to his face and said, mm, about two hours ago, just getting different finger. <laughs> oh. If anyone ever saw that, please see me later, because I can't find it anywhere on the <laughs> YouTube. Because I, I kind of worship him inside a, a lot. And... Uh, when I saw that, sh that episode, I laughed a lot after I got over the wave of love for him. <laughs> and I decided I am going to do that to someone someday. <laughs> Lord, please help me remember this moment and what he did so that I may someday be with someone a witness of some kind, and I can put my finger in wet animal shit and then bring that hand up to my face and put the dry finger in my mouth and make a big joke and to play a trick on them, to trick them into thinking I have put animal shit in my mouth. <laughs> this is my idea of like a gift from heaven. You know? so, so this brings us to this date I was talking about earlier. <laughs> So uh, I'm on a date. I'm very excited to be on this date. Probably too excited, actually. <laughs> and uh, I think it was about the second uh, actual date with this person. And um, we're on the Mesa Trail, which if I know, a lot of new people are in town now, so I have to say the Mesa Trail is a lovely hiking trail about a mile. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. If I yeah, but I okay. Sorry. <laughs> too late. Um, <laughs> it's about a mile or two from here in Chautauqua, and it's fairly level, very good for a date. And it was June, a bright sunny afternoon in June with this date. And um, I hadn't yet, yet learned to do the thing where I could just, just calm down. Don't, think, don't, don't do anything stupid. Just don't do anything. Put the filter on. Just So uh, I see ahead of us is this, about 10 yards ahead is a, a pile of bear shit. <laughs> just a deep black pile of bear shit, shiny with like berries in it and stuff. Everything you'd expect bears eat is right there. And uh, within a second, I had that whole memory and I had this whole thing. I remembered what I always wanted to do. It's now, it's now, she's here. She's gonna love this because she likes jokes. Uh, right? So I jogged up to it. 
and taking a position so that I'm sure she sees what I'm doing. I got to the side like, mm. so I, I push my finger into that bear shit, a couple knuckles in, really. And I'm still thinking, I I'm just gifted at this, you know. I bring it up and I say, mm, this bear was here like two hours ago, just getting different finger. And she looked at me, I, I, was, I started laughing, and she's still walking toward me, she's going, mm. And I remember her mouth was just kind of dropped up. Like, oh. I said, it, I said again, it's a different finger. She said, it doesn't make any difference. You touch shit. <laughs> so uh, we didn't go out much after. <laughs> it's kind of the end. Um, uh, so if you have an impulse to do something stupid on a date, just calm the hell down. And <laughs> thank you. Thanks.